What's up guys, Jav here, back today, jumping into Destiny 2. It is Friday, which means our friendly neighbourhood trash collector Zer is back once again. We are on Io this week, you'll find him over in Giant Scar, in his little cubby cave. So let's have a look and see what goodies he's got for us this week. Cool, alright, quick look at the engram then. So this is an engram which helps you fill out your collection, so if you're missing any exotics, be sure to pick this one up for 97 shards. If you have a full collection though, it will otherwise contain a random piece of exotic armor. So if you're looking for high stat rolls, then be sure to pick this up if you're looking for those. Exotic gear then, so we have Fighting Lion for the Weak, we have Lucky Pants for the Hunter, Starfire Protocol for the Warlock, and Peregrine Greaves for the Titan. Any consumables, Five of Swords will be here, and any invitations of the Nine, that I'm still working on actually, will be found at the bottom. Cool, quick look at the fighting line then. This is an exotic grenade launcher. It comes with delayed gratification. So grenade projectiles will bounce off surfaces. So if you hold fire, you have to release to detonate. It also has thin the herd, where direct hits do more damage to enemy combatant shields. Rapid kills against grenade damaged enemies refill the magazine. And kills always drop primary ammo. Now this is a very interesting grenade launcher, it's actually quite fun once you get used to using it and it's really good for if you're going after mountain top and things like that. So be sure to pick it up guys if you're still working on your mountain top and you don't have this one already in your collection. Lucky pants for the hunter, so we have the void affinity, the 48 stats are still the trash rolls from the collection. Illegally modded holster is the exotic perk, so precision hits Load one round to the chamber of stowed hand cannons. Hand cannons are ready faster and are more accurate immediately after swapping to them. This is actually a really fun exotic. It's probably underused. There's probably ones that are used more often than things like crucible, things like stompies and things like that. But with the increased accuracy and stow speeds for hand cannons, it is really effective, especially as hand cannons are relatively strong in Destiny 2 throughout. If you don't have it, guys, and you want to check it out, uh, be sure to come pick this up if you main a hunter. Starfire Protocol. So we have the Void Affinity once again and a 49 stat. So we have Fusion Harness. So Fusion Grenades have an additional charge and recharge from empowered weapon damage. Fusion Grenade kills Grant Rift Energy. Again, an OG exotic and one reprised from Destiny 1. Now this is actually a good exotic to use actually when you get the fusion kill you can get a full rift so it's effective for things like callus i used to use it a lot for that back in the day but there are definitely more popular ones things like luma faction boots if you can get a void affinity on one of those then that would be preferable for a warlock especially if you're running rifts and things like that but nevertheless fun to use and creates a different play style so be sure to get it should you not have it and finally, Peregrine Grease for the Titan. So these are a fairly new exotic here. We have the Arc Affinity with a 52 stat, so better than the rest. And we have Peregrine Strike as the armor's perk. So all shoulder charge abilities, the Seismic Strike, Hammer Strike, or Shield Bash deal bonus damage when activated in the air. Now this used to be incredible when paired with a one-two punch shotgun. And in fairness, it's still relatively strong, but not as powerful as it once was. And it is very good for doing large amounts of damage to a single target. So if you still want to pair this for one two punch, then be sure to do that. No ornaments, sadly, but nevertheless, a very fun exotic to use if you want to yeet a few bosses and things like that. Be sure to come pick it up if you don't have it. So there we have it, guys. That's going to wrap up Zer for this week. He, as I said, he's over on IO, so be sure to come check him out. We have the Imperium Foundation next week, as well as a Infamy buff. So if you're chasing anything down in Gambit, still working on Dredgen, things like that, then be sure to jump into Gambit as well from next week. But that's going to wrap up the video for today, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, then be sure to leave a rating down below. That super helps us out here on the channel. And if you're new around here, want to keep up to date with all the latest Destiny 2 content, then be sure to hit subscribe as well. I'm going to jump back into the game as always, guys, and I will catch you all again very soon.